What's up? New video. We're doing another sample for a client that wants orange, aqua, gold for a, an ottoman tray. So we do sample pieces when we're not sure of the colors or if we haven't used them together before in resin. So this is just a, like a 10 by 10 wooden, I don't even know what, to, I guess it, what is that? Wooden sample piece. But like what, we got it from Home Depot. They are. They're just uh it's like a wooden tile. Yeah, just like when you're done pouring out, I'm gonna show what it looks like on the other side. Can you get me one of those bigger Ta -da. All right. While he's stirring, I'm gonna show you guys. It's like this is dirty because we've used this one for a test before. But it's just wooden. I'm pretty sure it's a birch. I think it costs like a dollar fifty. It's wood, it's birch, it's square, and I think it's it's either eight inches or ten inches. No clue. But in any case, it's really good for test pieces because it's big enough to show designs and it's not so big that we're not wasting a whole bunch of resin on something that's not really used. So we based it. After sealing it with a polycrylic, we based it in this um, gold by Montana, right? Yeah, Montana gold, and the color is red orange, number 2090. We have so many spray paints that I just forget what colors are called. We're also gonna use this aqua it's a mural paint marker. We took the dauber out. And this is um, an acrylic. Super opaque. It's a great color. And we're also using our favorite Artist District acrylic white. As well as our other, other, other most favorite gold Rust-Oleum metallic. You can't really see the item number. But there it is, metallic gold. It looks like this. And we use this one most often. We have a lot of different kinds of gold, but this one just yields the best veining because of the way it oil slicks, I guess, and separates. Even though this is not an oil paint, do not use oil in resin. You will have a mess on your hands for a long, long time because it will seep out. It'll look like your painting is crying colors. It'll leak forever. So after you have your resin properly measured and properly completely mixed, separate it out. I don't know why I think this is like, I have too much. Separate it out into what amounts you want for your colors. Maybe teal. Maybe clear. Because I don't know this white is. That's white. Yeah. You have a gold? No. This is um the clear. Yeah, we'll just use that the clear white. Um, can I add some are we just veining it in gold with the like on top of the red on? Let's see on top of it. Okay. As you can see, it doesn't take much for acrylic paint and resin if you do use too much you'll end up with like this weird marshmallow fluff and it'll change the scientific scienceness of your genetic makeup in your resin sorry I don't know how to say scientific words to make them not sound like I'm making them up I'm probably I probably didn't make all that up but I did not make up the fact that if you put too much it'll change your molecules and it'll turn into fluff. It'll be too thick and you'll have to use a heat gun to melt it down. This is making me want a toaster strudel. It doesn't really matter what patterns or whatever you put your resin on. It just, it depends on what design you have in your head. 
This looks like a mosaic tile. We use either a heat gun or a torch to pop all the little bubbles that you mix into your resin when you mix the two parts. Yeah, if you leave them, it, yeah. It makes it flow easier too as well. It does. It makes it more liquid and it's easier to work with. But also, if you don't use any heat and you leave the little bubbles, you'll end up with like pock marks, I guess in your surface and you'll have to sand it down and start over and that really sucks especially if you really like the outcome other than the little air pockets that have popped in the surface when you base your piece in a color and you put clear in certain areas it will kind of leave a window to where those colors are so it's not going to completely cover over in for instance the white that we added or the aqua that we're going to put in it I didn't I basically didn't want to mix orange in with aqua so that uh, I know it probably would turn a really funky color so I thought if I had the base the color the accent color which is a lot of it in her house and that way, uh, it can just be there. It won't, it won't mix in. And then all the other colors can mix together and look nice. All right. Anytime you use a heat gun or a torch, make sure you have parental supervision. So you don't burn yourself like I did. There's a residual of my burn. I don't know if you guys can see it.
I'm gonna be done. Are we trying to say? <laughs> yeah, I think I it's fine. I love this. And just put a little gold in and um, yeah. I think it's, it's fine. She wanted the orange in it. You good? Yeah.